It's Pokemon Day and some massive new Pokemon news has been revealed, including the release of two brand new Pokemon in Pokemon Go, Gimme Ghoul and Golden Go. And we've got a brand new season coming to the game along with the news for what's happening in March for Pokemon Go. Let's start by explaining how to get this brand new Pokemon and its evolution into your Pokedex, because it's kind of complicated and a bit annoying. Step one. Have Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. I know, I know, this is super annoying, especially for those of us who haven't played this game or people who don't have a Nintendo Switch or haven't bought Scarlet and Violet. This new Pokemon, Gimme Ghoul, is essentially like Meltan. With Meltan, you had to have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu in order to get it unlocked in Pokemon Go, which is, I think, still the case. No, you can do Pokemon Home now. That's different. Well, again, for Gimme Ghoul, you need Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. And I just spent $60 to buy the game to unlock this Pokemon for this video today. But first, we have to progress to the point in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to where we get to our first Pokestop. So, let's uh, let's do that. Choose a look for yourself. Use the left stick. Well, I don't have a left stick. All right, left stick is here. This this is probably me. What is your name? It's a me, Mystic Seven. Where the hell's the seven? Oh, wait. I can't have numbers in my name. Very uninclusive Pokemon. We just need to get uh, far enough in the game to where we can get my gimme ghoul, and then we're gonna stop playing. All right, all right, all right. Paul, the sprawling region bursting with a lush nature. That was a lot of adjectives in there. I don't know how I feel about that. What is that? Chat, what is that? What is that? What happened to that guy's head? You're not gonna look at that and tell me that that's a fire haircut. Okay, pasa mi flamigo. Man, this alfalfa goes crazy, bro. You, you, you need to put that down ASAP, okay? Your he um, head's too erect. My shorts are too short. Well, you know what? I've kind of, I've kind of, the this whole like short, short thing has grown on me. Is it weird that my mom's kind of hot? It's in the jeans, bro. Who is this, dude? Is this my grandma? Man, she's pretty, bro. Go get your bag because we're going shopping. Let me out of the house, please. I swear to God, I will light this. I will burn this place down. Man, this is kind of a firehouse, so I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, leave that hat. Fix that hat. Ready for the world. My mom's hot. Let's go, grandma. Take me out where I need to go. Okay. What is this? Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, chat, who do we pick? Sprigatito? My boy Sprigatito? Do we... Okay, listen. All right, no offense. We are not picking Fuecoco, okay? We're like, we're like Fuec no no. I do like Quaxley. I do like Quaxley. Doesn't Quaxley have the like, the evolution that goes kind of crazy? Okay, chat, who do we, who do we pick, man? Who do we pick? Give me my Pokemon or face my round. Ladies and gentlemen, for the 2023 Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Draft, Mystic Seven will be choosing the one, the only. Chat, what, do you, what should I pick, dude? What should I pick? What should I pick, chat? Is it Sprigatito, Quaxley, or Fuecoco? Sprigatito! Oh wait, what the hell? Man, give me the, give me the cat, bro. What? Thank you. Sprigatito! It will not be Sprigatito. It will be Spriga my uh toes. Sprigatito's because he's lit, bro. Because he pours up on the weekends, dude. Okay, dude. Listen. I really appreciate the enthusiasm in this conversation. I'm glad you all are so excited to talk to me. Please let me go. I have things to do and Sprigatito's to walk. She picked the duck and I picked the cat and 10 times out of 10, cats beat the duck. Also think about the biggest duck in the world versus the biggest cat, you know? Like a lion versus a goose, you know? Like it's not even fair. Easy, clapped. Enjoy the loading screen. Enjoy the pregame lobby, noob. Ma'am, you need to stop talking. Can we, do we still have to, do we still have to do stuff? Oh, there's like Pokemon on my radar. Oh, that's cool. We got a sandwich. Nice, thank you, mom. Appreciate the Sammy. Mystic's mom has got it going on. Hello, pneumonia. Don't mind me skipping everything you're about to say. Oh, oh. Is that a, a Lechonk? I love that, love that, that's good. That's a funny name. Man, he shook his little booty at me, bro. He just farted on me. Are you serious? You're gonna die for that, right? Die! Got him. Pneumonia, please, please let me go do what I need to do to pneumonia. So far, you've caught... Yes, I haven't caught any Pokemon, okay? Yes, you got me. I have not caught a single Pokemon. Oh my god! Do I need to go do all this, dude? Can I just go to the Pokemon Center? All right, we'll do all this, whatever. Wake up, dude. Wake up! Oh, I'll give him the Sammy, I'll give him the Sammy, I'll give him the Sammy. Take my sandwich! My mom gave this to me and I'm gonna give it to you, which means you're forever in my debt because I was a very hungry and I don't have any money because I'm poor. Hot mom sandwich. He is flying. What is happening right now? Is this, do I have to do all this chat? You are a flying dragon, you know? Not, you can definitely be going faster than you're going right now. What is this? Oh, he brought his boys, dude. He brought his boys. Ooh, it's Houndoom. Ooh. They brought the big daddy out. Doom. I, I'm sorry. I have a entire dragon behind me. 
and I whipped out Sprigatito. Yeah, look, I, I'm dead. Oh, God, the dragon's pissed. Oh, my God. That dra- Oh, wow. The dragon's not happy. Oh, this is like a screaming man. Oh, he brought the gang! He summoned the gang! He just sent the minions! Oh, they surrounded us. Oh, no. Mystic 7 and Dragon D's nuts are now surrounded. The dragon whips out his electric claws. They're not stopping! It's an avalanche of hound down. What are we gonna do, bro? Save my life. I gave you a Sammy. Oh, he got me. Oh, did he just kill me? Am I dead? I'm limp. My body's not working. Oh, he's dead. This is not a Pokemon. This is an alien robot. Are you the, are you, this is Blair Witch? Is this the Pokemon Witch Project? Wait, are you gonna punch my dragon? Why are you so pissed? It's his house. Well, it's my house now because I have a dragon, so. <coughs> Let me leave. <laughs> I have so much to do. You're almost there, are we? After this, you get to the Pokemon Center? Yes! We're so close! Dude, I, we're almost there, woo! Yes, let's go, come on! Ah! Take me home, country. Take me home, country roads. To the place where I can get, give me, ooh. I'm not going back up, Chesterberry. <gasps> it's Paldean Whooper. All right. Self-control, self-control, self-control. I want it, Chad. I want it. But we can't. We can't. We're on a mission, okay? We have a goal. We have a clear goal. We have to not be distracted from it. We have to go straight towards it. We're at the Pokemon Center. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Amazing, 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 amazing. Yes! We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. All r Wait, why does her Pokedex thing look so much cooler than mine? I want that. All right, Pneumonia. Thank you for the help. I appreciate the love. Thank you for taking me to this place where I need to be. And now, go to the Poke Portal. And get a mystery gift from Pokemon Go. Nice! And that's what we needed to get Gimme Ghoul in Pokemon Go. Okay, now that we've made it to this point, we can finally connect Pokemon Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and get our Gimme Ghoul. Here's how to do it. We're gonna enter the Poke Portal in Scarlet and Violet, scroll down to Mystery Gift, then scroll down to Connect to Pokemon Go, pair with a Pokemon Go account, and it's gonna search, then we go into Pokemon Go into our settings, going ahead into our settings, aha, which look brand new, that's fun. Then we'll click, I think, Connected Devices and Services, nice, Nintendo Switch at the top, connect to Nintendo Switch, and it will be looking for each other. These devices will eventually find each other. Wait for it. Nice, an account has been found. That is Mystic7. Yes, we are in. Okay, sweet. We are now officially paired. So then what you do is you exit out, go into your player's personal profile, into your postcard book, and then pick any of these postcards. I'll pick the banker's building. Hit the little three dots. Send to Nintendo Switch. And we're going to send that one off. Yes, yes. Send it. Oh, we have to go here in, in game and connect to Pokemon Go. Okay, sweet. We're good. Okay, sweet. And then there we go. We have sent the gift. Postcard has been sent in Pokemon Go. We get this cool animation in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which gives the gift. And then we get some items and fun stuff. But like, who really, you know, cares about that? It is what it is. Because back in Pokemon Go, the coin bag is now officially available. Open the coin bag in your item bag for a mysterious effect. And then scrolling down on items, we've got it right here. The coin bag. Let's explain how this works. You drop the coin bag like an incense or the mystery box. It will last for 30 minutes and it will spawn one gimme ghoul every five minutes if you're sitting down and it should be one gimme ghoul every minute if you're walking around. I'm gonna open this box and sit and get as many spawns as possible, which is fine. We're just gonna get this for the Pokedex today. We'll grind it later. And here it is. Gimme ghoul, very cool. And there's a strategy for catching this. It's important to know that you can only send one postcard into Scarlet and Violet once per day. So you'll need multiple postcards if you wanna keep getting your gimme ghoul because since you can send one postcard per day, you can get and unlock one coin bag per day, which means each day you have 30 minutes to catch as many Gimme Ghoul as you possibly can with your coin bag. Okay, let's talk about catching Gimme Ghoul because it's really, really important when catching this thing. You can use whatever berry you like, but I would highly recommend using a Nana Berry because unlike normal Pokemon, the candy for Gimme Ghoul doesn't really make a difference. In order to evolve this guy Gimme Ghoul into Goldengo, you will need 999 coins, and there's a trick to getting more coins through catching, and it's simply accurate throws. The more accurate throw, the more likely you are to get a coin, got an excellent, from catching Gimme Ghoul. So let's see, first throw, excellent. For the Pokedex Gimme Ghoul and Gimme a coin Gimme Ghoul. Yes, Gimme Ghoul dropped Gimme Ghoul coins, nice. And there we go, Gimme Ghoul goes into the Pokedex, beautiful.
Oh, that was cool. There was like number 1,000 in the bottom right. YV checked this, very nice. And as you could see in the bottom, 999 coins to evolve over to Goldango. And then if I go into my items and I scroll down, you can see that I have a total of five Gimme Ghoul coins. Cool. And that's not the only way to get Gimme Ghoul coins. You can also get them from spinning golden Pokestops, which will sometimes very rarely drop you golden coins. You can also obviously get coins from catching Gimme Ghoul's roaming form, which I just caught right now. The more accurate the throw, the more likely they are to drop a coin. And then also, if I go into my buddies and I swap my buddy over to Gimme Ghoul, you can apparently get candies or coins. You can get coins for Gimme Ghoul by walking. So let's see how many kilometers. Okay, so five kilometers gives us three Gimme Ghoul candy. And again, apparently we could also earn coins from walking with Gimme Ghoul. So I'm going to walk with him as my buddy. We're going to see how many coins we can get from that. There's also a brand new lure coming to Pokemon Go through this feature called the Golden Lure. You get golden lures from sending multiple postcards into Scarlet and Violet. And again, since you can only send one per day, it might take a couple days or maybe even a week plus to get yourself your first golden lure. Golden lures will turn regular Pokestops into golden Pokestops, which can give coins when spun. And also, if you're super lucky, a Gimme Ghoul might even spawn at the golden lure. But it's important to note that the only way to get Gimme Ghoul spawns in game is by either opening your coin bag or by dropping a golden lure. Gimme Ghoul will not spawn by like a random golden Pokestop. And it's also important to know if you already have a golden lure in your inventory and you end up getting another one from sending a gift to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you'll just get coins instead of a second golden lure. You can only hold one at a time. Nice! Another Gimme Ghoul. Perfect. Gonna hit this with a Nana Berry. Use an Ultra Ball. Excellent. Oh no. Please give me a coin. Give me a Sympathy coin. Please. I didn't get a Sympathy coin. Oh, it's a Ghost type. Wait, we should do this. Hold on. Go into our Max Megas and Mega Evolve a Max Level Mega Gengar. So that during these next 30 minutes, we can capitalize and get as many XL candies and candies for Gimme Ghoul as possible. Good strategy there. I'd recommend it. And another great strategy is going into your shop and scrolling down to this guy, the gold box, which gives you nine free Gimme Ghoul coins. Definitely grab that while you can. That is super duper important. And that brings us up to a grand total of 14 Gimme Ghoul coins. Nice, on our way to a thousand. And what about Gimme Ghoul's evolution, Goldango? How is it in Pokemon Go? It is probably the hardest Pokemon to get in game right now. Is it justified by its abilities? Well, Goldango will be a dual ghost and steel type Pokemon with a max CP of 3,976. And it'll actually be a really good ghost type Pokemon in game. It's gonna rank pretty well, but it won't be game breaking. It definitely won't be the best ghost type and definitely not as good as it should be considering how hard it is to actually get. But it looks cool. It's a fun new Pokemon. It's gonna take all of us years to get. Now, I'm gonna keep catching these Gimme Ghoul as they spawn. Let's talk about the brand new season, the season of Rising Heroes. Along with the new Pokemon, we have a brand new season, and here are the details for it. This is the season of Rising Heroes. This season will last from March 1st until June 1st and will feature a whole lot of new to look forward to. <laughs> okay, for starters, Elite Raids, finally coming back. And the Pokemon in them is finally being switched up from Hoopa, and the Pokemon is our, drum roll please, Regieleki and Regidrago. Yes, the two new Regis are finally coming to Pokemon Go through the Elite Raids, and here's what they'll be like in game. Regieleki will be a pure electric type Pokemon with a max CP of 3,169, nice. While Regidrago will be a pure dragon type with a max CP of 3,361. Both very cool Pokemon, neither will probably be very meta relevant or game breaking, but Still cool, still fun. We also have the community day dates for the season, which include March 18th, April 15th, April 29th for community day classic, and May 21st. I'm gonna put those in my calendar, actually. And make sure to subscribe to the channel to know which Pokemon are happening on which days. There's also a ticketed time to research, Willow's Wardrobe, where you can raid the wardrobe of Willow? What is this? This will actually be a season-long research that will unlock a new costume inspired by Professor Willow. And it will lead to an encounter with a Mel Metal with the new move, Double Iron Bash. We don't know exactly how much this will cost. I, I'm not super intrigued. Ah, there will also be a bunch of different Pokemon spawning in different biomes during the season, as there usually are, and they include. Cities will see Voltorb, Porygon, Togetic, Gardevoir, Purloin, Trubbish, and Elgium. Gardevoir can be shiny in the wild now. Forests will have Mankey, Executor, Shuckle, Zerua, Stunfisk, Fomantis, and Morlul. Mountains will have Aerodactyl, Snorlax, Wizmer, Mawile, Aeron, Metacham, Wubat. Beaches and water, Psyduck, Slowpoke, Hisuian, Quillfish, Mantine, Luminion, 
Tachyon, Frillish, and Gumi. And then the Northern Hemisphere will have Skarmory, Swablu, Snivy, Tepig, Oshawott, Dino, and Heliotile. Southern Hemisphere will have Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Larvitar, Scraggy, Almamala, and Stuffle. And then the eggs will be getting a bit of a shake up, switch up, crack up. Two kilometer eggs will have Bellsprout, Iglybuff, Trapinch, Cottony, and more. Five kilometers, Machop, Gligar, Bonsly, and more. Seven kilometers, Hisuian, Growlithe, Voltorb, Quillfish, and Sneasel, and more. Ten kilometer eggs, Tyrant, Amara, Togedemaru, Jangmo, Owen, oh, and more. And finally, the biggest part about seasons, the bonuses. The bonuses for season 10 will include increased damage from Pokemon raiding remotely, Team Go Rocket will appear more frequently at Pokestops, and you will get extra Stardust from beating Team Go Rocket. Yikes! These are the worst bonuses we've ever had. Okay, that's fun. Well, that's all the information we have about Season 10 in Pokemon Go. Now let's talk about this super random little mini event we're getting called the Catch Mastery event. This will be going down on Sunday, March 5th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time. Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan will be spawning more in the wild and will have a higher likelihood of being shiny. You'll also get two times XP for catching Pokemon with nice, excellent, or great throws. And there will be field research encounters giving encounters with Hitmon Top, which which can be shiny, it's a rare shiny, it's one I don't have, but I don't think the shiny rate is boosted. No, it doesn't say the shiny rate's boosted, so it's probably just normal shiny rates, unfortunately. Well, also in the seven kilometer eggs, Tyrogue will be hatching and can be shiny. Plus there's a timed research that will give you a total of 40 Hitmon top encounters. Hey yo! For people like myself who don't have that shiny, that is a really banger timed research, which should be free, so that's sick. Well, there's that, and now let's talk about what's going down in the month of March in Pokemon Go. Starting with the events. Obviously, we have the Catch Mastery event on the 5th. Then from March 8th to March 11th, we have the Festival of Colors event coming back. I am excited for this one. March 11th, we're gonna have Elite Raids from 2 to 5 p.m. local time. Again, in the Elite Raids, we'll have Regieleki and Regidrago. Not sure which one's being released first or if they're at the same time. March 18th, we'll have Community Day from 2 to 5 p.m. local time. March 21st through the 29th is a Let's Go Plus Team Go Rocket Takeover event. This might have something to do with Pokemon Go's brand new auto catcher, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus, which they're releasing in June. March 25th is Go Battle Day Palmer. Those are the events. Now let's talk about the legendary raids for the month, which will be interesting. From March 1st to March 8th, we will have Incarnate Form Tornidus which is not very meta-relevant. March 8th through the 21st, we'll have Ho-Oh. Also not super meta-relevant, but does have a great shiny and is a really cool Pokemon. And the shadow version is actually really, really good if you have the shadow. Good IV, shadow, Ho-Oh. March 21st through the 28th will be Incarnate Form Thunderous. Also not very meta-relevant. And finally, from March 28th until April 10th, we'll have Lugia back in the raids. In the Mega Raids, we will have Mega Charizard Y from March 1st to March 8th, which is the top fire type. Mega Metacham from March 8th to March 21st. This is a brand new Mega Pokemon. It is a really, really cool looking one. Unfortunately, it only maxes out at around 2,800 CP, so it won't be super meta relevant, but definitely a cool new Mega. Mega Venusaur will be from March 21st to the 28th. Then finally, Mega Alakazam from March 28th until April 10th. Spotlight hours will include March 7th, Eevee with two times transfer candy. March 14th, Rowlet with two times evolution XP. March 21st, Litten with two times catch Stardust. And March 28th, Poplio with two times catch XP. Then the research breakthrough box for, well, from March 1st to June 1st will be a similar one to the one we just had, it's gonna have a bunch of different Pokemon that you can encounter inside of it, which is a cool concept. The Pokemon that you can encounter from this box, there's some good ones and some bad ones. From the research breakthrough box from March 1st to June 1st, you can encounter Parasect, Pinsir, Snorlax, Gibble, Furfro, or Gumi. Odd choice with the Parasect and the Gumi because they can't be shiny, but Pinsir, Snorlax, Gibble, Furfro, all rare shinies, and some meta-relevant Pokemon, so not very bad. Also, my Gimme Ghoul coin bag did finish up. I was able to catch six different Gimme Ghoul. Do you get a coin if you transfer one? Wait, let's see. I'm gonna transfer this. I didn't get a coin, okay. And I'm ending the day, day one, with a total of 22 Gimme Ghoul coins. Again, you do need a thousand to evolve it, so that I won't have that for a very long time. But good luck on your Gimme Ghoul hunts. Hope you're excited for this upcoming season of Pokemon Go, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Click the other ones on screen, they're fun. See you next time.